Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingestan from Manchester Electronics. Today, we're checking out Logo. Logo 8, I believe it's called. Don't quote me on it. I believe it's called uh, 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 Logo 8. This is the unit we're going to be attaching to our test rig and checking out all the wiring, all the ins and outs of the, uh, more or less the basics ins and outs of this screen in here. What I can do, load up a program, create a small program and load in and test it on a rig, how it works. So that's pretty much what it is on agenda today. The programming cable is standard, which is going to be an uh, Ethernet cable. So quite straightforward, nothing too, too crazy. So, uh, so yeah, so all the related videos, guys, are going to be in the description below. And all these cards you can see down there, they are going to be covered separately as we progress in these videos. So do check them out in the description below as they come along. So, uh, so yeah, all the related videos, manuals, and anything like that, all is going to be in the description below. So without further ado, let's get started. So, all wired in, so let's go through the ports and everything all around the controller. So, P1, P2, which is a weird way of naming plus 24 and uh, uh, minus 24 volt DC. I ain't got a clue what the P1, P2 stands for, but it is what it is. P1 is a plus, P2 is a minus, 24 DC. And then you have an IOs in here, and all the IOs are uh, these IOs don't need to have a neutral, as usually for the other controllers uh, for the for the bigger PLCs you would do. And when I say neutral, it's a negative part of it because he's already receiving a negative part of it from a uh, same power supply. As you can see, I have two power supplies. I purely have a power supply, one for the inputs and and, and running the controller, another one to run my outputs because purely I don't want them to interfere with my inputs when the outputs are operating whatever I'm trying to do. So uh, inputs, as you can see down here, let's jump down here. Inputs, as you can see my T plus is coming in here and sort of distributes the power across my switches and then switches are sending back 24 volt signals back to these uh, ports in here all the way to eight if you wish to. So, uh, and it has to come from the same power supply you are powering your controller. I do make sure that is the case. And when it comes down to outputs, uh, again, as you can see, each output is a relay and each relay will require its own source of power. You can have uh, you can have different sources of power if you wish to, but if you don't, and you just want a, the, uh, you'll be using the same power supply for whatever you're trying to switch uh, all the time, uh, whatever you're trying to switch, you can just link these uh, these uh, ones out and then as you can see down here uh, my S is from a different power supply as I already said and in here it sends 24 volt signals to these lamps that are already receiving the neutral from a uh, uh, from our uh, the output power supply and that's uh, when it comes down to uh, to the actual uh, wiring and we've got a earth port in here which I didn't use we got the SD card in here where you can uh, transfer your program we're gonna show that in a minute uh, we're not gonna be actually doing it but I'll show you in the program how you can do that and you have an Ethernet port in there where you can communicate uh, where was for the communications with your with your laptop or whatever you are trying to use you don't really need to have the direct connection to the laptop you can literally connect it onto your a uh, home network and as long as it is within the same network you should be able to reach your controller uh, just by finding out the correct IP address. As for the screen, let's power it up. I've been goofing around a little bit with this guy already. So as you can see, I already saying hello YouTube. So uh, let's go through uh, all the screens in here. So pretty much all the screens in here telling you, giving you the states of all the IOs and analogs and unlimited outputs and and uh, all the M M M signals as well in here. As you can see, it's got 64. And and then once you're done, it goes back to the screen. But from there on, you can uh, uh, go press escape, and this is where your program would uh, where your a uh, uh, actual screen of the. Uh, well, I call it a small mini, mini HMI, which you can do quite a bit in here. So, uh, escape and okay, self explanatory and uh, sideways up and down buttons, self explanatory. Uh, stop, let's, uh, let's stop our uh, controller. Uh, in here, you can uh, edit your program if you wish to. We're we not going to go through clear program. That's what exactly what we're going to do now. This is where you clear program. You can do the clear in the software as well, which you can show in a minute. We're actually not going to do it, but you can do it in here if you wish, especially if there is some form of password on it. 
and uh, well sometimes you can't even do that if the password is on it so then there's the setup in here you can set up your uh, all sorts of things in here with the screen clock lcd menu languages factory reset blah blah you can do all that in here you, you will find out your network check out your ip address as you can see my ip address is 102 if you want to edit it let's change that one to uh, uh let's keep it a two why not so there you go and they will save that ip address and just need to make sure you remember that and there's your diagnostics and there's your card and in the card you can save program load program and copy protect and uh, that's pretty much when it comes down to menu is really not that much in there so uh yeah so having done that so i uh, want you to click the start program it will jump back on this screen and and to to get back into it you sort of need to clear uh push down escape and then you're back in the menu so uh there we go so this is, is it, these these screens default screens can be set up all different ways how you are seeing them but other than that, let's jump on the laptop and get this thing communicating. Oh, and for your communications, just plug in your standard Ethernet cable straight into your internet network. And, and you uh, knowing our IP address, we already know, which is 102 in the end. So let's go and find out. Here we are. So uh, let's load up a Logosoft. So from there on, there's a couple of ways to do it. If by any chance you have a password, uh, if you go online in here and somebody has put a password on your controller you obviously you won't be able to download anything out of uh, well get the program out of it so we're uh, by clicking this one so uh, you will have to wipe off to actually what's on it and it will reset the whole thing so what we're gonna do in here we're gonna uh, go offline and we're gonna go add new device this way and I know this is my logo logo 8 sf4 so make sure your IP address in here is correct the one you already set up in the controller and then click OK so we'll add that in the network now so from there on what you can do because uh, what you can do now you can uh, a uh, sort of a wipe off the program so that's exactly what we're gonna do it in case you have a um, a, a uh, uh, what's it called the the, the the password onto it so the, the, the reason I, I'm gonna do it this way because the uh, discoverable way you can do it discoverable way as well and then download if you don't have a password so you can see it'll pop one up in a minute as you can see you found a controller already but I if there's possible I won't be able to get the program off it so uh, what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna go into a tools tran ooh, tools come on transfer and uh, uh, that that make sure you are uh, clicked on the actual controller as you can see down here that uh, you uh, clear user program and a password that's the best way for you to remove uh, if there is a uh, password and a click test make sure that a uh, uh, connection is established properly hopefully and that's mainly to do with your IP address everything's good click OK and now it's doing his business connecting to it Come on, taking his time. And there we go, and in here, as you can see, it says target device, IP address, yes, that's it, and let's clear the damn thing. So, uh, and this way, we remove the password, and we will remove the program, in case you want to do that. So, I uh, haven't done that, so let's click OK. From there on, as you can see now, you can uh, see there's, there's a PC2 logo and logo to PC. Let's, this way you will log out to PC, will upload the program into your, P, into your PC, and that's what we're doing in here. Here we go. Uh, change the run, now it's fine. As you can see, there's nothing in there. So from there on, we are pretty much ready to go. So what we're going to do, let's create some small program. Let's to put two inputs. Let's do a output somewhere down here. And another one, we're going to do a, a, a latching where is the damn thing uh latching relay in here and also we're going to do a message a message the one yeah one will pop up on the screen once we're gonna start up the start up the actual controller so uh set we'll just click on it and drag it and it says remember guys this is not program video this is just to get you get you going guy from there on it will go through this it will activate the message and it will activate the output that we are trying to do which is going to be all belt running so in there we're going to edit our message so uh, you can do all sorts of different things we're going to be checking them out later on with the um, other bits 
uh, in an upcoming video. So in here we're gonna call uh, motor uh, run, oop, running, not motor, let's do, oop, belt running, belt running, there we go, and then uh, on the screen that message will pop up, so that will do, and from there on just run it into the, into the, into your logo. And we're also going to put that in a, a run mode. And there's a couple of things as well before we go, I'll show you. You can simulate if you wish. Come on. Here we go. It's moving the program into it. Yes, let's put that in a run mode, no problem. And here you get the simulation and then you obviously have an online test. Online test is basically, uh, you put it online, you can monitor what's switching, what's working in there at that time. But if you want to simulate, just click on simulate. As you can see, I will uh, click my uh, I1 on and there's my message popped up. This is what will pop up on the screen, which we're going to show in a minute once we are going to test it. So uh, let me uh, turn off. Ooh, ooh, and there we go. So uh, that will do. And that, ladies and gentlemen, so now let's pop up on our uh, um, uh, camera and see how that all works. Oh, and also, if you want to uh, save your program, click on the controller and in here you are uh, in a program in here. So not on a control this guy in here. So click save. And as you can see, my logo programs in there. Project, call it whatever you wish. Save it for a rainy day. And that's how you save the program. So pretty much you have a, uh, yeah, looked at download, upload, uh, program wipe, and uh, sort of a, a bit of a programming. So uh, let's get to it. Here we are. So uh, there's our belt down here. So this is the one that's going to be running in a minute. Oh, let's take the lamp out, and as you can see, and these are the buttons. Remember, we spoke in the beginning. So where you can see where these are going to be start and stop buttons in here, set and reset, and uh, what I program what we did. So as I click start, as you can see, I click the uh, start button. My belt is uh, spinning, and as you can see down there in uh, screen, is we are saying exactly the message that what we are trying to do. And my little uh, light lamp is uh, running as well. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is sort of a a, a small introduction of uh, uh, what we um, into a logo eight whatever you call it and things like that and that'll do ladies and gentlemen for this video next video we are going to be checking out this guy in here the the td uh logo tde uh, screen it's a really cool screen there's quite a lot of things you can do with it and i'm definitely keen to show you how to get this guy going and working so so yeah do definitely tune into the next video and uh, obviously we're going to be running videos on these cards and, and uh, as additional cards in the future come out we'll be checking them out so other than that ladies and gentlemen if you like the video don't forget to smack don't forget to smash that like and I do subscribe if you want to support us and do like what we're doing here so uh so yeah and uh thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video